Communist Party of Kazakhstan. The Uzbek Communist Party is completely severing relations with the USSR Communist Party, a joint plenum of the Central Committee of the Uzbek Communist Party um, took this decision today. The President of the Republic, Karimov, who, speaking at the meeting, uh, sharply criticized President Gorbachev on the uh, suspension of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union. In the Baltic republics, all republics are struggling toward independence of one level or another. In Latvia today, 16 foreign countries have recognized the independence of Latvia, according to the chairman of the Supreme Soviet of the Republic, Mr. Gobernov, according to his order, all government organs in the Republic are under his control. A report from Riga. Characterizing the situation in the, in the Republic, Anatoly Gorbunov said that all dis, uh, laws and decrees adopted in recent days are directed toward the strengthening of full independence of the Republic. All, all union re, uh, enterprises uh, are being transferred toward the, to the subordination of the Republic. The prosecutor's office, military divisions and the KGB of the Republic are being liquidated. In Latvia, which was one of the first republics to oppose the coup, uh, they are undertaking serious work to overcome the consequences of the coup. Together with representatives of the Republican Parliament, the leadership is developing uh, draft resolutions on the status of military forces in the Republic and the elite among forces. Uh, Garbanov said that Russia has recognized the independence of Latvia and will cooperate in international relations with us. He expects, expressed his respect for the Russian people and hoped that this would be a stabilizing factor in the future. He expressed concern for Russians living in Latvia and said that, international, that relations between the republics will be based on international law. He said that the Latvian par parliament will take up the question of citizenship in the near future on the basis of equality and democracy. More international news, President Gorbachev today thanked President uh, uh, Walensa of Pola, uh, Poland for his support support uh, during the days of the coup. Our reality often uh, comes into connection with international uh, situation. Germany has established diplomatic relations with the three Baltic republics. Germany will send its ambassadors to Tallinn, Riga and Vilnius in the near future. Hans-Dietrich Genscher signed these treaties with the foreign ministers of the Baltic republics. Helmut Kohl said that historic changes are taking place in these days and that the Baltic republics, in accordance with their, their national will, have embarked on the path of national independence. In an interview, the Minister of Defense of the USSR, Shaposhnikov, said that the USSR's nuclear forces will remain under the control of the Union government. Uh, I was at this interview. And I should tell you that the minister said, uh, talked about very important things, including the fact that our army will be professional. British Prime Minister John Major is in the United States for negotiations with the President Bush on the situation in the Soviet Union and the possibility of Western economic aid. There was a demonstration by pensioners and people with disabilities outside the presidential palace in Poland 
demanding a meeting with Polish President elect Wawensa. He came out to meet with them and uh, said that he understands the problems of pensioners and will attempt to satisfy their needs. The events in the Soviet Union of the past week uh, have overshadowed the bloodshed in Yugoslavia, but the events there continue as our correspondent reports. The situation in Croatia remains extremely tense. Yesterday in Vukovari, there was a real battle. Uh, Croatian security forces and National Guard forces uh, of Croatia defending the city came under fire from national forces, including rocket fire. There were tanks, artillery, air cover, and even uh, military warships from the Yugoslav Navy. You can see for yourself the results of this battle. There is no information yet on the number of casualties on each side. We, get, we arrived here at 11 o'clock. The city has become calm again after the battle, but 10 minutes ago, literally, uh, a, a shell fell into this department store and another in the neighboring building there. This is how the war is going between Croatia and the Serbs who live in that republic. With the help of the Yugoslav army, the army opens fire more and more often these days, but civilians are the first people to suffer as a result of these battles. All of this is the consequence of civil war, a war which cannot be stopped despite the attempts of the representatives of the republics. There is a threat that if the civil war continues, it will take on uh, international implications, which will be very difficult to overcome for all of Europe. There was an enormous uh, demonstration on the main square in Bucharest today, demanding recognition of Moldovan independency. Romania was the first country to recognize Moldova. President Ilion Iescu uh, congratulated uh, the Moldovans, their neighbors, for uh, uh, attaining independence. The speech was interrupted uh, by shouts of long live United Moldova and down with Iliescu. The genuine democratic forces along with the uh, right wing forces have been given uh, more freedom of activity uh, in this atmosphere. We continue our program now. I would like to uh, return once again to the events in our country and talk about the Russian president's appearance today at the Congress of Compatriots. Yeltsin said that the idea of signing a union treaty is not dead and the attainment by the republics of independence will not be a barrier to this new treaty. Now, uh, there is uh, nuclear weaponry in the, on the territory of three republics, Russia, Ukraine and Kazakhstan. Ukraine has de uh, declared itself a nuclear-free zone, so its nuclear materials will be transferred back to Russia. Yeltsin also said at this meeting that the churches on the territory of the Kremlin will be transferred uh, into the possession of the uh, Russian Orthodox Church, and the two-headed eagle will be restored, but without a crown. In the Uspensky Cathedral in the Kremlin, 
uh, one of the Russian Orthodox churches, most sacred holidays was celebrated today. This church was built in the 15th century uh, and devoted to the Virgin Mary. Today's meeting was especially triumphant. The Patriarch of the Russian Orthodox Church, Alexei II, was uh, present here. Good evening. Today, the Soviet soccer team is playing a preliminary round uh, in the World Football Championships with, Nor uh, with uh, Norway. We 